What's up, YouTube? It's Mark again. Welcome back to Swampistown. I was out fishing last night. Had a great time. We're out here for his bachelor party. That's right. We're gonna see what comes to the boat. We're gonna make some final edits to the wedding video. <laughs> time for sleep heading back out heading up to Jupiter today and uh, gonna be meeting up with my buddy John going out on his 31 contender we will get after some mahi we're gonna see what's out there but the goal for today is to put some fish in the cooler catch you guys out there all right stay in the second lane from right you shut up for those of you that don't own a boat, I'm gonna teach you guys some uh, some fishing buddy etiquette. When you go fishing on somebody else's boat, there's a couple things you should always keep in mind. One, I promise you, no matter how much money you spend going out with them, they spend more. So you should always be willing to chip in however they ask you to. In this particular case, John asked me to stop and pick up some bait. There's supposed to be a bait place up here. Uh, so I'm running in here, I'm picking up some bait, and always, always make sure that you uh, pay your fair share of gas, and then throw in a little bit of extra because it's not just gas that you're using up. There's all kinds of other maintenance that needs to be done on a boat. So um, spend your money. It's a good way to keep your, uh, your friend with a boat inviting you in the future. Hang on. Take these off my hand. Perfect. Yeah. Rob. What's up, my man? I'm Mark. Yeah. Okay. Look at that beautiful boat. That's the boat we were just on. Uh, just a quick reminder, we do a quarterly giveaway every three months, uh, and they keep getting better and better because our Patreons uh, are supporting us and you guys are supporting us by watching these videos We just like taking all that money putting it right back into the channel and uh, you know We like to give back a little bit. So this time around we're giving away a compound bow It's a bear legit. We've got uh, Skull Hill archery uh, in Okeechobee helping us out with that We really appreciate all their help all of your support if you want to get in on that giveaway there's a link down in the description you can go fill out your information and there's a bunch of little tasks that you can do to get extra entries in the giveaway to improve your chances now we just spotted some tuna jumping so we're gonna throw out some rigs see what we can do I'm not seeing these tuna but that's all right uh, we basically ran them over though so doing like an 11 mile an hour Yeah, I'm out here to catch fish, and 
the less work I gotta do, I'm okay with it. He just came back to life. Alright, circle, circle that way. Yep. Oh, it's Is it really? Yes, it is. Holy shit, you hope you shitting me. Yeah. Nice! Expected. That was awesome! Hell Bye -bye. yeah, man! <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Sushi in the boat! <laughs> yeah, bro! That was sick! Alright, we're gonna get him in the ice box, okay? Alright guys, so what we just did, kind of a cool little tactic, I haven't seen that before. We were running these lures like 300 feet behind the boat. So as we were coming up, we started seeing this school surfacing. There was some tuna off to the side. So what we did is we actually went past them and then cut around them pretty sharp so that the lures would drag right over the top of the school. That way we don't have to drive over them with the boat and spook them all. Uh, so, I mean, it worked perfectly. We pulled those lures right over top of them. First fish in the boat was a wahoo. The day can't get any worse now, so we're, uh, we lost the school. We're gonna go look for some more fish. So another thing is be as helpful as you can. Try and help out. Make sure that it's not just the captain of the boat that's doing all the work. If you have skills and you're confident in them, uh, don't be afraid to put them to good use. I've been driving boats for most of my life, so I'm pretty comfortable driving a boat. And uh, you know, one man can't be rigging rods, putting out baits, driving the boat, doing everything at the same time. So today I spent most of the day at the helm Whenever I could help, I would take over the helm so that he could do whatever else needed to be done on the boat. But know your limits. If you are not comfortable driving the boat, don't offer to drive the boat. If you feel like you're getting to a situation where you're uncomfortable, just say, hey man, I'm not comfortable with this. Can you take over? Because <laughs> if you crash his boat or damage it in some sort of way, I guarantee you, you will not be invited again. What's up, turtle? What's up, dude? He doesn't even care. I see him. Alright, Rob, uh, you're down now. Get, him, get those get lines out. Get up to about, yeah. about now. I'll get on the gaff when he gets closer. You go with the gaff? Okay, as long as you're confident, I don't care. All right, we're close. You want me to gaff and you want a video or you want a gaff? I got it. All right. I would get behind him and we're gonna have him walk forward. Yeah. Sorry. All right, uh, Rab, yeah. I, want you to, uh, I want you to walk forward. 
What is it, a mahi? It looks like it, yeah. Can I move forward a little bit? No. Oh, it's a tuna. Is it? Holy shit, it is. No, it's another Wahoo, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Get in the boat. In the boat. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, Wahoo, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Don't let the teeth get you, dude. Buddy. Yeah, they, they will slice your ass up. No, get your foot away from it. Yeah. Just let just let it freak out. I caught a wahoo this time. You can time. say you yeah, caught you really it. Yeah, you really got one this time, man. All right, I might have to catch the next fish. <laughs> we'll get you on the next one. Hell yeah, man. Actually, it looks like really good squid. Almost calamari grade. <laughs> I'll cook some up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we gave up on the trolling. We're kind of heading back in, but we figured we'd stop here and drop a couple baits down on the bottom to see if we can't pick anything else up. So. Uh, Plenty of fish, man. We did good. Yeah, dude. We had a good time, man. So nice. Wish we were actually filled all day, but that's fishing. Dude. I'm not complaining, man. We got a bunch of Wahoo. Alright guys, so we just got off the water. Um we're gonna head back over to uh John's place, clean up the boat. If you're uh, if you're out fishing with somebody uh, who owns a boat and uh, they they were nice enough to invite you, always offer to clean the boat. Uh, some guys just like to do it on their own, but it's always a good idea to offer. Uh, it's a lot of work uh, maintaining a boat, so I'm heading back there, help him uh, clean up the boat, and then uh, head home and cook up some of this delicious wahoo. All right, last tip of the day, I promise. You go fishing with somebody who's got a boat, you've never been fishing with them before, plan for it to take the entire day. It's almost 6.30 right now, we just finished cleaning the boat. You know, spend half the day on the water, you get out, you gotta clean, you gotta clean fish, you gotta do all kinds of things. Plan for it to take the entire day. Nobody likes to get out on the water and then the first question be, how long are we gonna be out here? Don't be that guy. All right guys, so I'm back at the house. It's like almost nine o'clock. I'm exhausted, but I gotta take care of this fish because this is actually my first time catching a Wahoo and I know just from what everybody's told me that it is absolutely delicious. So, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook a little bit up tonight, obviously, cause I, I gotta try this stuff, but I wanna, you know, freeze the parts that I'm gonna freeze. So I'm gonna prepare it for that. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a little trick how you can prepare this stuff. Uh, when you don't have a vacuum sealer. Uh, so I'm just getting out some pieces here. As you can see, there's like little bits of that bloodline still left on there. I'm gonna trim that stuff away, and then I'm gonna package some of this stuff up. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. It's really simple. I've got, <clears throat> Just a pot of water right here. It can be uh, anything you want, a cooler, uh, anything that you can fill up with water. And I've got some simple freezer quart bags. Make sure it's the freezer kind because they're a little bit thicker. It's gonna help uh, protect everything and not let any air into it. So normally you would vacuum seal this stuff, but a lot of people don't have that option because they don't have a vacuum sealer. So what I like to do is put that piece of fish down in there I'm probably gonna do two pieces in each bag because that way it's a meal for two or two meals for one. So you wanna put that down in there and as you can see, I've already pushed it down pretty far so that it's really you know, packed in there. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal this bag most of the way 
We're gonna go across till there's about an inch. So I went to about here. And what you do is you push it down into the water and uh, you just start to squeeze all that air out of it. And it'll, it'll push it right out of that last half inch. And then once you've got it mostly pushed out, you're gonna let it sink down into the water and seal it up the rest of the way. And look at that. You've got a nice sealed piece of meat and there's hardly any air in there and that's gonna help store it for a really long time. So I'm gonna do that to a few different pieces here, dry it off um, and get those into the freezer and then I'm gonna cut up one of these pieces and uh, see how this stuff tastes. Uh, John is a good friend of our buddy Jack. If you haven't seen his, uh, his YouTube channel, it's Captain Jack Spiro, I'll put a link up here. Go check him out. He's an awesome spear fisherman. He just pretty much does a lot more fishing than hunting, kind of the opposite of us. We do a lot more hunting than fishing. But if you're enjoying all that fishing content, go check out Captain Jack Spiro. His stuff is awesome, super nice guy. So go subscribe to that channel. So one really cool thing about Wahoo is that surprisingly, you know, it's a pelagic fish and somehow it's still a white meat. It's, uh, you know, a lot like mahi. Basically, when you're dealing with uh, fish muscle tissue, white tissues is what we call fast twitch muscles. Um, and those are, they're not oxygenated, but they're able to contract really hard and fast. Um, and that allows them to accelerate really quickly. And so you tend to see that in a lot of ambush predators or fish that just don't really move a lot. Uh, so that's why you see it with like reef fish. They don't really have any need to be moving constantly. But in pelagic fish, you know, when you look at tuna, you tend to see a lot more of that really dark red meat because it's very well oxygenated. And um, the reason that a wahoo is able to still have so much of that fast twitch white muscle is actually because uh, they're so incredibly hydrodynamic. They're like a torpedo. So when they move through the water, it actually takes hardly any effort, so they don't really need to use a lot of power to move through the water the way that they do. And then they have that white uh, muscle to be able to accelerate incredibly fast and still ambush their prey, even when they're already moving at a pretty fast speed. So pretty cool, pretty awesome predator. Um, and I'm really excited to try some of this meat. I, I've just heard such good things about it, so. So here's a nice little cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut against the grain here so that uh, <clears throat> it's not gonna be as chewy. So I'm just gonna make a couple nice little slices of this stuff. And I ain't really into that presentation stuff. You wanna see that? You can find deer meat for dinner, you all know him. He does it way better. <clears throat> I'm just about the flavor. A couple nice little slices here. That's good enough right there. I don't need a whole lot more. And then the rest of this, I'm just gonna season it real simple. Just gonna <clears throat> do a little salt, pepper, and roasted garlic powder. And I'm just gonna fry it up in some olive oil real quick. Nothing too fancy. Just a light see Cause I, I just, I really wanna taste this meat for what it is. So I don't want too much seasoning. Everybody's been talking about this stuff like it's the best. So a lot of you guys are always asking us where to find buddies to go hunting and fishing with. And this is a perfect example of how these BHA small game hunts that we keep doing videos on are a great way to meet people. Cause John actually showed up to one of those events and I met him there, and today we went fishing, hung out for the first time, we had a great time together, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna be doing it again in the future. So if you're one of those people that's kinda new in the uh, outdoor community and you wanna meet more people and just have fun talking with like-minded individuals, check out Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, become a member, support the Florida chapter, and start coming to some of those events, which actually reminds me, we have one coming up pretty soon here 
uh, May 14th to the 16th, we're going to be camping out at Dupuy WMA. We're going to be getting after some hogs for the whole weekend. We'd love to have everybody out there. So uh, there'll be a flyer up pretty soon on the BHA website. Make sure you hit an RSVP on there. We'll see you guys out there. All right, so here we have it. First, I'm going to try some of the sashimi. Ooh, the soy sauce. That's so good. It's like... It's got like the texture of tuna. It's a lot milder in flavor. It's really good. Let me try some of this. Mm-hmm. When it's cooked, it's a lot like mahi, but it's like firmer. A little bit flakier too. That is supremely good. Alright guys. I'm gonna go sit down, crack open a beer, chill out in front of the TV for a little bit. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a ton of fun fishing today. Wahoo is awesome. I definitely gotta get out and try and catch some more. So I'm gonna go enjoy this. Until next time, peace out. <laughs>